See, there's a handful of bees in that, but sugar's running out. They didn't eat their sugar yet. For Brett Aidy, the largest commercial bee operator in the States, inspecting his 70,000 hives in California is a depressing business. Nothing. Just, just really depressing. More than a third of his bees were wiped out. It's a similar story across the rest of the United States. Hives that had ate all their protein and, and looked really healthy and the first of December had just disintegrated to little knots of bees and they continued to disintegrate. And we tried to salvage some of them by closing them down to a single box so they can serve heat and they still disintegrated after that. Just, just really dis Don't know what to say. How, how many did you lose? A lot. A lot. Brett moved all of his 70,000 hives to California for the almond pollination, the largest managed pollination event in the world. He's not alone. 40 billion bees are trucked in. The almond trees are dependent on the bees to bear fruit. As the 60 million trees start to blossom, growers will be renting 1.2 million bee colonies. One of California's bee brokers, Joe Trainer, matches almond growers with beekeepers from all over the United States. It's a critical time of year. Timing is, is real important, and if one beekeeper's not ready, uh, doesn't have his bees ready, we have to put another beekeeper in there if the grower's uh, orchard starts blooming and he's demanding his bees, we've got to juggle things around and, and uh, you know, get, get his orchard filled before it starts blooming. Already this year, he's seen some beekeepers closing up shop. We have three beekeepers this year that uh, their colonies weren't acceptable for our standards, and I don't, I don't know if they're renting them elsewhere, but uh, if they don't, they won't have any almond pollination income this year. And if you don't have any almond pollination income, you, it's very difficult to stay in the bee business. Opinions on what's causing the hives to empty vary. Government scientists like Frank Asian would like to see more research. It would be nice if we knew a lot, of, a lot more about the impact of agricultural chemistry in our own uh, things that we put into the colonies. It, it, it would be nice to know that. I think we have to be careful. I'm not saying it's not that. I'm just saying before we lead ourselves into believing that that's a major problem, we have to be, have to set up very careful testing to prove it. California produces 80% of the world's almonds. As the trees come into blossom, growers and beekeepers will be watching nervously.